Hey guys, this is James Beam from MWA Muskies with Attitudes. Have something exciting to report. Um, just this last week, we went over over 100 subscribers, um, and then kind of to celebrate that occasion and to basically show appreciation for those who watch the videos and subscribe, um, we're going to do a lure giveaway. Um, so the lure is going to be free. Shipping will be paid to your door. Um, and if, for those of you that watched the the video, the last video I did on lure making. I will be making a uh, bucktail um, for our lure giveaway. I'm not going to do this as a tutorial, but basically I wanted to show um, that this lure was handmade. Um, and when you receive it, you know, you'll know that you have a one-of-a-kind lure. Now this lure, um, if you watched our episode down at the Milwaukee Muskie Show, you may have heard some discussion about the beam blades. Now what is a beam blade? Well, it's basically our you know, little bucktail design that we came up with that has been very productive. Um, you know, we've been, we've had really good fortune with it, and particularly Rain Supreme has caught a number of fish on the beam blade design. Um, you know, what's the reason that it works so effectively? I'll kind of talk about that as I'm putting it together. All right, guys, now i got everything laid out that we need. So, uh, <clears throat> basically, like I said, we're going to put this uh, bucktail together. I'm not going to do, it's not going to be a horribly instructional video, um, but, you know, get the idea of how it goes together. Um, so the beam blade. So first of all, I have a hand or a tied hair uh, skirt, and this one happens to be weighted. You know, so no need to put the sinker on this one, and it's really easy to do. Kind of helps simplify things. So the weight and the skirt goes on first. Then I'm going to place two beads. Two, then the body, and then two more beads. There we go. Then the clevis and the blade. Take another bead, put it on the top. You see? So essentially, this bait is pretty simple. Okay, so what sets this apart from the other bait, baits that are out there, and I don't, haven't really seen a whole lot of these, is um, the hair, it kind of holds its shape a little better in the water, especially with a single blade where the, um, um, the uh, tinsel basically kind of flares out behind a, um, a double blade, but on a single blade it kind of gets flat, so the hair kind of keeps its shape. But the other thing is, too, and you'll see, is that I'll leave a little bit of an extra end over here. And then this number nine Indiana blade creates a really unique vibration. And one of the things that we've noticed is that when these, when the uh, wire tie or the line tie is tied tight to the top bead, it doesn't allow that vibration. So having that one inch or so in between the top bead and the, and the line tie actually allows a lot of vibration to travel through the shaft and actually into the water. And we think that that's what, what triggers those fish to the bite on on these blades so I'm going to tie it with about an inch in between the top of the bead and I'll just measure that on my little vise here that I that I showed you last time and then basically same thing that we did before we're just going to tie this thing up so twisting it off and then I like to go past 90 probably to like 135 about like yay and then what we'll do, kind of just turn it over so we can center that wire. Now this goes in my vise. Why it was being so stubborn. And we're going to take that little screwdriver, put it through the eye, a couple turns, and take it out of the vise. 
will cut off the excess. There we go. Essentially, we've almost got a completed bucktail. All we have to do now is put on the hook. And this one's going to have a little something special on the back. If you remember from the Milwaukee show, I talked about doing teaser tails on beam blades. This one is going to have a teaser tail. And the reason is, we feel like it adds a little bit more of a profile to this bait um, that attracts fish. And also, so you have the vibration coming from the blade, and then also an additional vibration coming from, from the tail. the hook on and again I like doing single hooks uh, or I mean uh, no uh, shrink wrap on these smaller baits like this because it allows you to basically create a lot more leverage you know and uh, keeps the fish pinned a little bit better and that my friends is the completed bait you can see it's got a pretty nice long profile it creates a tremendous vibration through the water so you're probably wondering how is it that you become eligible to win this bait pretty simple if you, if you are a subscriber and you like this video, we will randomly select um, one of the likes from the subscriber. So if you're interested in winning this bait, please subscribe, like this video, um, and next week uh, we, will, we will basically pick a winner um, from those who have liked it and, and are also subscribers, and uh, you'll have this thing on the water in time for spring. All right, guys, um, again, this is Muskies with Attitude. You know, we hope to see you out on the water, tight lines, and please subscribe.